guys welcome back to my channel for another video today I'm really excited to share this video with you guys which is brought to you in partnership with Shorman Mathematics to share with you guys my kids unedited experiences and opinions about their use of Shorman math um, if you guys are new to my channel and you do not know about Sherman Mathematics, you definitely need to check them out. They have truly been an answer to prayer in my homeschool and have set my kids up to succeed um, as they move out of their homeschooling experience. So today, you guys are going to get a very rare, very rare, um, unedited video. Uh, video with my oldest two kids. My daughter who just graduated, um, a graduating senior, and my son who is going into his senior year of high school next year. So two homeschooled kids uh, ready to share with you their thoughts about their experience using Dr. Shorman's math programs. And I pray that this video is a blessing to you guys and that you enjoy hearing directly from my kids as they are the ones who have been learning math uh, through Shorman Mathematics for the last four years. So without any further intro, here is the video with my oldest two kids. All right, so I am here today with my two oldest kids, my graduating senior and my next year senior, um, to share with you guys a little bit of their testimonial about using Dr. Shorman's math programs and what that's meant for them in their homeschooling journeys. And just so you guys can hear um, their thoughts as their high school years come to a close. Um, they are happy to be sharing and willing to be sharing because Dr. Sherman has helped uh, in our homeschool with math for high school greatly. So uh, let's start this off by just a silent, quiet raise of hand. Which of you is stronger in math? I feel tired. Caleb, obviously. <laughs> okay. Which of you did well in math in high school? I assume so. Yes, you both <laughs> did. Um, which of you enjoyed Dr. Shorman's math programs? Which of you used Dr. Shorman's dive math programs all through high school? Did I? Yeah, both of you. And which of you did the same level of math every year together up until this year? Yes. Um, great. <laughs> so um, they both have used Dr. Shorman's math programs from Algebra 1 and Geometry into Algebra 2 and Geometry and then into Trigonometry and Pre-Calculus. And now this guy over here um, did Calculus 1. My daughter did not do Calculus 1 with Dr. Shorman because she took some dual enrollment college math classes, but she could have not passed those math classes for the college without Dr. Shorman's math preparing her well. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with, with uh, you, Kylie. Let's go ahead and kind of talk about your homeschooling math journey really short um, before getting to Dr. Shorman's math programs with in ninth grade. So what would you say your experience was with homeschooling and math leading up to that? Before Shorman? Yeah. Um, Just fresh, fresh training. Maybe it was the hormones and maybe it was the math, but I would cry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> um, and so once we came to Dr. Shorman's math programs and we started with Dive, um, how did it help you kind of overcome some of those uh, difficulties you were having with math? Um, well, it always, the way he explained it, I don't know, that's just the way I like learned the way he explained it. And he would write it out while saying it, and I'm like, like visual and hearing. I can't just read something and learn like when I was little and I would have like easier math, but it was in textbooks. It was always harder because I can't read something and understand and it. Understand it. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Shorman's math appeals to a lot of different learning styles, which you have learned you are a visual and an auditory learner. So you yes. need to hear it both ways. 
So once you started with Dr. Sherman, math got to be a lot less frustrating for you, right? Mm -hmm. And so what would you say are some reasons why you did, besides the fact that the information was presented in ways that worked with your learning style, were there any other things that were a part of his math programs through all levels, but that really helped you? Um, probably the guided notes, honestly, mm -hmm. because you can't remember every single thing, but then the notes were very clear, and then you could write on them too to add on to it and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, probably how on each problem there was like a, a link to rewatch the lecture that went over that kind of a problem. If you got it incorrect. Or if you oh, just not, if you, don't, yeah, if you just oh, forgot, yeah, yeah. or you need a reminder. Mm -hmm. So those things were all very helpful. Um, all right, good. So which uh, math that you took with Dr. Shorman was the most challenging? Algebra one in geometry, algebra two in geometry, or trigonometry in pre-calculus? Honestly, probably Algebra 2. That was the most difficult? I think so, yeah. And so coming from Dr. Shorman's math into college math, uh, go ahead and share what math classes you've taken that were at the college level so far. I took two of them. One was Statistics and Probability, and the second one was, what was the other one? I can't remember. <laughs> it was like Math 156, and it was kind Some of a book. general math course. Yes. So in what ways did Dr. Sherman's math program prepare you specifically for the more difficult probability and statistics yes. class that you took, um, which you got? What, what grade did you get? I think like 95 or 93. So it was a good grade, I was happy. Yeah, an A in a college math course is something to be proud of. So um, specifically with Dr. Sherman's math programs, what did it do that really helped you to excel in that probability and statistics class? Um, well, with statistics and probability, maybe it was just that class, but there was using spreadsheets all like every single week. So with Sherman, he, would have you practice on spreadsheets. So I was already used to like the formulas and the certain way you need to type it out into the spreadsheet and yeah. So that helped a lot. It wasn't like I was learning spreadsheets for the first time like a lot of other people were. Mm -hmm. So that was nifty. What else? Anything else that you were just like, wow, Dr. Sherman, thank you so much. This well, is a lot easier because of you. Um, he, I, he taught like statistics and, prob and probability and some of the lessons. So you so, were familiar with it yeah. already. And I liked, I liked it when he did it. Good. Yeah. All right, now shifting gears over here to you, sir. Um, Caleb is gifted in math. And he has a gift. He has a gift <laughs> and he plans to use it to glorify <laughs> the Lord and honor him in the future. Um, but I share that not just because I'm proud of him, but also I'm proud of Kylie equally as much, but I share that to share that Shorman Mathematics can work for students who um, come to math and they're a little bit, you know, more hesitant. And yeah. then with kids who come to math and they, they need to be challenged and they want to be challenged. So Caleb actually um, took Algebra 1 and Geometry uh, with Dr. Shorman in his eighth grade year. So he was in eighth grade and she was in ninth grade. Some things that you enjoy about Shorman math. I like doing the practice sets every day because you're like uh, practicing what you saw in the lecture and it makes you like remember it better. Mm -hmm. And Caleb has the unique ability of not really needing to take notes. So how do you <laughs> retain the information um, from simply watching Dr. Shorman's lectures? Um, I don't really try to look at what he does like step by step or like follow steps. I just like try to see like the reasoning behind the steps so that I like understand like why I'm supposed to do something. Okay. 
and that works well for you. Yeah. Did that work? Would that work well for you, Kylie? No. Ky no. Ky I need notes. And steps. Do you utilize the guided notes, Caleb? Yes, I do. And what do you do with them? Uh, just for like formulas and stuff. Okay. And uh, so with Shorman Math and being now in Calculus 1, which year of math has been uh, your favorite year? Algebra 1 with Geometry, Algebra 2, Trigonometry and Pre-Calculus, or Calculus 1 this year? Um... This year's been pretty good. I've I've enjoyed it. Okay. So I feel like a genius whenever I like solve something. So, <laughs> uh, which year has been the most challenging for you? Uh, I don't know. I remember not liking algebra one because it had to undo everything from teaching textbooks that like didn't make sense. Yeah, but that wasn't necessarily related to No, to it was just like it was like the first few lessons of that one. Probably probably this year calculus has challenged you the most. Yeah. All right. And why do you think that um Shorman Math has prepared you so well for what's next in your future which will likely have a lot of math in it? <laughs> uh probably just how like everything builds off of each other and like how he shows you how to do everything so well and that even when you like fail a problem you can still learn how to do it and it's not like you yeah. never get left behind mm -hmm. never, not like you're wrong but you're we're not gonna show you how you were wrong mm -hmm. so he does a good job at that okay so this year you took your sat for the first time and um you did pretty well on the math section we don't need to disclose numbers or anything but how would you say Dr. Shorman prepared you well for the SAT. Um, all of like the algebra ones were like I was really prepared for because he has uh, problems in the practice sets that are like taken from like SAT tests and other things. So like you already are like familiar with like the wording that they use and like yeah, they're like strategies and stuff. So it was. I was really I was really prepared for the algebra section. Yeah. Was there anything on the SAT math portion that you uh had never seen before? No. And this the stuff that I got wrong was because I haven't done it in like a You're, year, so you should have done I, more practice I, yeah, tests. Yeah, but I re <laughs> like remember doing it. So there was nothing on there that was a total surprise to you. No. No. And how would you say uh, that Dr. Shorman keeps math, um, it, you know, challenging for you when it comes so easily? Um, well, I mean, I don't really know, like, how to do every problem just by, like, looking at it. So I still have to, like, put the work in and, like, watch the lectures and, like, try to understand. And, like, I still get problems wrong, but I think... What makes me good at it is that I like learn how to do it when I get it wrong. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you would say um, about what is next for you or what you're thinking about really? Because we know that at 16 and 17, we're not quite sure uh, what direction our life is going to go. But uh, has Shorman Math or Dr. Shorman shown you um, anything that you're considering for the future and what you know you might want to do next? Yes, he's shown me. And what would that be? Uh, aerospace engineering. I, I think uh, Shorman was or is an aerospace engineer. I think I might be wrong. Mm -hmm. Don't quote me on that. But <laughs> um, yeah, just like lots of problems relating to that that are interesting mm -hmm. yeah and utilizing um, what he has has taught so do you think that dr shorman teaches math from a place of uh just rote memorization of formulas and facts or is it more of understanding why something works the way that it works uh yeah he's not like memorizing facts from like long lectures he always like compares things to like the Bible and shows how it like relates to creation and stuff. So yeah, he does a good job of like showing the importance of what you're doing. 
-hmm. and like the practical side to it because a lot of the times in math you are learning something you're like how am I even going to use this mm -hmm. but he points that out yeah which yeah. is helpful good so overall would you guys recommend Shorman math yes mm -hmm. yes um to would is there anything that you would say you would change about it or anything that would make it better i wouldn't say it's like crazy big details where it's like make or break shorman but maybe i remember when um they would like go back with the lecture and redo like parts of words so it'd be like shorman talking and then like like, him if, talk you, like if you made a mistake or yeah something. and then like him talking over but it sounded a little weird it was just a little distracting <laughs> just a tad I like and I like yeah, those. I guess the parakeet sometimes in the background squawking. But like the like, birds we, going we on in all, our video have, right now. We all have parakeets. It's just it's doesn't he small live in things. doesn't he live in Hawaii though? Yeah, so that makes sense why he has an occasional parrot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the birds are really going for it in this video yeah, from our just, neighborhood though. It's, so it's meager things, small little. <laughs> there's, there's there's no there's the most of the lectures are like pretty silent, but like yeah. I, I go over the moon if I hear a parrot squawk. <laughs> it, like yeah. once in 40 lectures, I love it. It's like, like a fun surprise. Yes. <laughs> um, and then lastly, to wrap up the video, and thank you both for sharing your um, experiences. I think it'll be helpful to a lot of moms who are considering <laughs> um, using Shorman math for their high schoolers. Um, so we've already covered that you both felt adequately prepared, uh, for what is next for you and that Dr. Sherman had a huge hand in that. Um, do you think that in high school there's value to the way that they do the quizzes and tests? No. No? You don't no. think there's value oh, I to it? Like public school. Public oh school. no. I'm talking about Dr. Oh, Sherman. Oh, like, yes. Hey. Uh, cause it's not just like a public school quiz where you just like he memorized all the facts a day before and then forget them all after the test because he tests he, he'll he brings stuff from like back up yeah yeah mm -hmm. so like but nothing is are the the exams are timed right mm -hmm. yeah so they're timed when i took college tests they were timed too so i was used to working under a little bit more of pressure mm -hmm. you didn't like that part no but it was helped. helpful yeah <laughs> How about you, Caleb? Do you like the timed? Um, I don't really mind it. Most of the time I finish on time, but occasionally I'll be like, I think one time I finished like four, like four seconds away from. Wow. Yeah. Was the SAT was also timed, right? Yeah. So that's helpful for preparation for time testing. Um, so in summary, you guys would give Shorman math two thumbs up for your high school careers yes. from a senior and a future senior. <laughs> um, and you enjoyed doing math as much as you can enjoy doing math. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, much better than some of the other resources we started with before we found <laughs> Dr. Shorman that shall not be named. Yes. I already kind of named it. Yeah, I know. I'm going to, I'm going to edit that out. You can bleep We're me blasting out. Them. But, Blast. but better than, than those programs, right? Yes. very thorough, very in-depth, and have set you both up to succeed. Yes. All right. So thank you guys so much for sitting down to share your thoughts on yeah. math and your homeschool math experience. Um, if you guys have any questions for these two cuties, uh, <laughs> you can leave them down below in a comment, <laughs> and I will answer on their behalf and sign their name if you want to ask them something specifically. Uh, do you guys have any other thoughts you'd like to share in this video? Let's give Shorman some love. <laughs> love. love. Love for Dr. Shorman. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Wait, we'll see wait, you can again. I, can I do the outro? Can I yeah, do the outro. Do the outro. Hasta la vista. <laughs> <laughs>